Hello, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can install Microsoft Office 365 completely for free and completely legal. Now, in this video, you'll learn three different ways in order to do this. And by gaining access to 365, you will also gain access to all the different apps such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now, I will be offering three different methods, so check the timestamps and go to the method of your choice. Okay, so let's just get into it. First of all, we have uh, office.com. So this is the site of Office 365 and there will be a link in the description. What you can also do is search for Microsoft 365 on Google and then go to this link right here. Now, if you're on the right page, then you need to either sign in or sign up. If you've never created a Microsoft account in your life before, then click on the sign up. Right here, you can enter in an email and then you need to create a password for a new account. Follow the instructions to create a new Microsoft account and then proceed to log in. Let's say that you already have a Microsoft account, then go to sign in and sign into your account right here. Now, once you're done with that, you will go ahead and go to this page right here. This is the official office.com page. And right now we're on the home. So you'll see that on the left side, we have a lot of different apps that we can now use. If we now go to apps, you can see this is all the apps that we right now have, and we can use any one of them. To create a new file, go to either go to create and click one of these, or go to, for example, Word, Excel, or anything like that. Let's say I'm going to create a PowerPoint. For example, you can click on blank presentation right here. Now you will be headed to the PowerPoint page. And this is the same as you would have the PowerPoint app installed. It almost has all the same functions. So let's say I make my PowerPoint. Then I can go ahead and save it. If I will save it normally, like this, I'll call it presentation and click on save. It will be now saved on the Google Cloud or on the Microsoft Cloud, I mean. So as you can see, if we go back to the office page, it will be saved online. And you can now access it, exit it from any PC connected to the internet, logged into your account. What you could also do is save the file and then make a PDF or make a copy. Let's say that you make a copy. You can click on download and it will be now be downloaded to your PC. If I go to the folder location, you can see I have presentation.pptx. Now, in order to upload this file again to your PC, you have to go to upload right here. Click on upload and now find the file. Click on open and it will upload your file. So if you now go and refresh this page, you will see that I have another presentation right here. So in this way, you could save your files on your on a USB stick and take it anywhere. Okay, so the next method in order to get Microsoft 365 for free is to go to the Microsoft 365 app. We can do this by searching for the Microsoft Store in our PC. Right click, uh, left click on the store, open it up. And when it's open, right here, search for Office 365. Now on some PCs, this will be already installed, but it won't be on every one of them. As you can see, this one is free right here. Click on the Microsoft 365 free one that you see. And then right here, click on install. And now it will go ahead and install the application. And once it's installed, you can click on open or always search in your windows and search for Microsoft space 365. And if you now open the app, it says welcome to 365. You will have to proceed and log into your Microsoft account if you still haven't. And now as you can see, we have every single app right here. So here's the home screen with a quick access to recent documentations. And we here have all the apps such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. So you can create any new document by, for example, go to Excel, click on bank, blank workbook, and it will now open it up on Google. So it will always open up a Google page and you will now use the Google version of Excel but it still has all the same features. So what you can now do is once again, go to file and save it either on the OneDrive or make a copy and then upload it uh, right here, click on upload, and then you can upload any copy. In this way, you can either save it on your PC 
or on the online cloud. Alright, and now for the last way in order to get Microsoft 365. So, if you're by any chance are a student or you're signed up to any school, then you could use this for free. How you could do this is enter in your school email address right here. Click on get started and you will then need to verify your information such as your name and create a new uh, account connected to this education. Now, not every school offers a free licensation of 365. So maybe you're a student, but it doesn't offer it. You will have to enter in your email address to find out. Now, let's say that you enter in your email address. You will always get access to the free website of office.com, but you will not always be able to install the apps to your PC. So you have to test it out for yourself. So that was all for this video. If this has helped you, then I'd say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.